here's the basic sound that we were starting with. Now here's the final version. People seem to think that Manipulator is just a plugin that's used on vocal effects, but in this video I'm going to be showing you how we can turn this basic saw wave into a crazy neuro respace using just the power of Manipulator. Let's check it out. So the first effect I want to adjust here is the stereo. This is pretty self-explanatory, let's see what it does. Something really cool about the stereo algorithm used in Manipulator is it actually maintains mono compatibility, which is a pretty big deal when we're dealing with something like a bass sound as phasing and lower frequencies can often become an issue. So the next effect I wanna adjust here is the detune. It's a chorus-like effect and it's really common across a lot of reef spaces. Let's see what it does. Something around there sounds pretty good to me. So first up here we have the pitch tab. Really great for creating some nice glides. And then format. Which is just the format of your source audio signal. It sounds really cool when you use it together with the pitch. Here in the harmonics tab, we can drastically alter the timbre of our sound. Let's take a listen. Now we have ratio, which adjusts how far the harmonics stray away from the fundamental. And finally, FM, which stands for frequency modulation and can add some nice grit to our sound. So here in the rightmost tab, we have the alternator, which will cause the pitch to alternate up and down. And here we have octave, which will change the length of the alternator grains up to eight octaves. Now finally, we have smear. This is a granular effect that loops and crossfades sounds at different time intervals, creating a time stretch like effect. As a bonus tip, if you're having some issues with the pitch knob and getting it to sound natural, there's actually a smooth grains option. Let's hear the difference it makes. This is fully disabled. Let's see what happens when we turn it back on. This has been Jason with Polyverse Music, and hopefully you found some inspiration here using Manipulator to create some really crazy effects on your bass. Make sure you subscribe for some more weekly tips and tricks, and visit us at polyversemusic.com. Take care.